So in today's video, I'll be telling you guys the top 10 things that you guys should must do in Blocks Fruits. These things are going to be about devil fruits, swords, game passes, trading and a lot of other stuff. So make sure to watch till the end and you guys will definitely learn something new. So yes, I think without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. So the first thing that you guys should always do in Blocks Fruits is to go for game passes. And lots of you guys would be like, I don't have any robux, how do I get game passes and stuff like that. The answer to this question is that you guys can get game passes by trading. You guys can trade your valuable fruits like Dole, Leopard, Spirit, Blizzard, all of those types of devil fruits for some game passes. And as you guys would know, game passes are very important because they can give you some permanent buffs. For example, you guys will have 2 times drop chance which essentially means it's gonna be very easy for you to get some really OP swords, accessories or fighting styles might even. So that's why the first thing that you guys should must do in Blows Roots is get game passes by trading. This is very important and very helpful. Next up we have a very simple thing that you guys need to do and this is get race awakenings and what that means is basically get race v4s. Yes they are extremely OP in PvPing and also in farming. So so whether if you guys are farming belly or levels or might even be PvPing, race awakenings are extremely important because they are very very strong. I'm not gonna bore you guys with all the information I have for race v4s because you guys have probably heard about them but if you guys still haven't, check out my race v4 tier list video. In that video I went in detail about all the races and ranked them according to my opinion. So if you guys want my opinion on the race v4s, you guys can go watch that video and get basic basically all the information you need about race awakenings. But yes, always awaken your race to the version 4. Very very strong. Next up we have a very important thing that you guys need to do which you guys always avoid and do not do. Let me go there and I'll show you guys. Yes, I'm talking about the blacksmith. Wait, why is he naked? What the hell? Okay, he's back. So you guys would be wondering why am I at the blacksmith? And this is the third thing that you guys need to do and this is to actually upgrade your weapons. Yes, as you guys can see, he says hi there, I can upgrade your weapons. Let's take a look. You can either upgrade your sword or your gun and and it is very very useful. You just need to give him like a few materials which are very easy to farm and then you guys can upgrade your weapons. As you guys can see I have upgraded my soul cane so it has like a star on it and it just basically means I do a bit more damage you know. So always try to upgrade your weapons because it gives you a huge damage buff. As you guys can see to soul cane it gives an additional 20% damage so definitely upgrade your weapons. I know about 70% of you guys watching this video haven't upgraded your weapons, even though it literally gives you a lot of damage, which is very helpful in farming and also in PvP. So yeah, definitely upgrade your weapons, it is totally worth it. So the fourth thing that you guys should always do is get permanent fruits by trading. This is very very important and can help you out in the long run. And what I mean by this is you guys can trade your super OP devil fruits such as your doe fruit or your leopard fruit or stuff like that for like a permanent fruit which is very important. For example, you guys can unlock permanent Buddha and that would help you guys grind, you know. So whenever you would need to grind, you guys can come to the shop and equip your Buddha fruit. As you guys can see, I have the permanent light fruit. Um, I can equip it whenever I want. I also have the permanent paw fruit and the permanent rumble fruit and also the kilo and spin for the memes. So yeah, it's very important for you guys to have some permanent fruits so you can change to them whenever you want and you guys can get them really easily by just trading. So yes, trade smartly and if you guys want me to make a video on how to trade properly and like make an in-depth guide on that topic, let me know in the comments below because almost all the game passes that I got are from trading, like I literally got all of them by trading so I know what you need to do. So let me know if you guys want a video on that but I think it's time to move on into the next tip. So at number 5 we have a very boring one but it is very important and it is use the blocks fruits gacha. If you guys are into trading and you guys are trading for game passes or permanent fruits, um, using this guy it will be very very easy because he can give you a random fruit every 2 hours and you might get like a super valuable fruit out of that and you guys can trade it. And if you guys don't even get that, you get like smaller fruits like light, diamond and stuff like that, you guys can add these devil fruits to match the value of 
of the trade. So it is actually very important to use the blocks for sketcher every two hours because it opens up a huge door of opportunities for you. So make sure to use it every two hours. Next up, we have a very important thing that a lot of you guys still not do and this is awaken your fruits. Yes, I know there are still a lot of you guys sitting watching this video not awakening their fruits. Why are you guys not doing it? It makes the devil fruit a lot more stronger, a lot more better looking and also a lot more fun to use. So why would you not awaken your fruits? Yes, I know it's a huge grind. For example, to awaken the dough fruit, you guys would have to go through a lot of work. But whenever you do awaken it, it looks 10 times better and is one of the best fruits for PvP and for farming. So yes, it requires some hard work but it is worth it at the end of the day. So whenever you guys have the opportunity to, always awaken your fruits. It is very very important. So if you guys still haven't hit that like button, make sure to hit that like button. It helps the video out a lot and helps me make a lot more videos. Okay, moving into the seventh tip that I have for you guys and this is very important and a lot of you guys still haven't done it and this is unlocking the portals. Yes, I've seen like a lot of people not having these portals locked and it is very easy to unlock them. You just have to kill the RIP Indra boss which spawns like right here. It is very easy to do and takes literally like 10 to 20 minutes if he spawned into the server that is but it is not that hard to be honest like you guys can find the RIP Indra boss in like a couple of and kill him to unlock these portals. These can help you guys travel around the map a lot more easier and um, I would say it's one of the best things that the third C has because without it everybody would be lost and it would just take like an hour to freaking travel around the map. So yes, make sure to unlock the portals. Next up, I have a very important thing for you guys. And this is that you guys should always participate in like random events. For example, whenever there is Christmas, Bloxfruits does like a Christmas update and you guys can kill NPCs to get some candies and stuff like that. And in return of those candies that you collect, you can get like some really OP accessories like the Santa hat or the elf hat which was once added. And they do not only just do Christmas, they also do like Halloween and and some other celebrations like they did the 10 billion players celebration update and in that they actually gave out a really strong accessory which is the party hat and that gives you like an XP buff which is very very strong. So whenever there is like an event going on in Bloxfoots, always try to get everything that it has whether it is like an accessory or a sword or whatever it is try to get it. They are mostly very very strong. So moving on into the second last thing that I have for you guys and this one is very important as well and this is actually about some accessories so you guys know some accessories like dark coat swan glasses and the swords like the cursed dual katana or the dark dagger these are extremely hard to obtain like they require you guys to kill the bosses a couple of times but in return they are very strong so i see a lot of you guys do not have these items and you guys run away from them because you guys think it's just a waste of time and and it's not going to be that op but trust me they are extremely op in the long run they can help you pvp they can help you farm and also about the weapons the swords are usually very strong like for example when i unlocked the cursed dual katana it was a very long quest but the sword was worth having like it's so freaking strong it's very cool looking as well so if you guys are going to be going for accessories i would suggest you guys to go for a very difficult one to obtain because they are usually the best ones and now we are finally up to the last thing that you guys should do to improve in blocks roots and this is actually to subscribe to the channel. Yes, subscribe bro. If you guys hit the subscribe button, I think you guys will get like a million robux just for free. So why are you not subscribing, you know? It's your loss if you guys don't. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.